Hi everyone, Barry here from Two Cross. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me for another episode of our Funfold Friday series. Um, so, as you can see on the table, I have the gorgeous hand penned petals stamp set with the penned flowers dies. So these are the two products which I'm going to be using tonight. So these are brand new. Um, they are in the new annual catalogue for the May from May 2021 to April 2022. So I'm going to show you the page now. I can actually show you the inside. So this is what we're going to be using with the lovely designer series paper as well. So you've got the, pe the, the coordinating paper which goes with this. And I'm going to be using some of that as well for this project. The project I'm going to be making is going to be a bay window card. So we've been, um, we, we had an email from a lovely lady requesting that we did this for our Funfold Friday series. So I've researched it and this is what I'm going to be making today. Also going to be using the new ink colours. So we have Polished Pink, Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, Evening Evergreen and Pale Papaya. So they are the new colours which I'm going to be using as well. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Really, really love all of these new five colours. So great. So if you've not seen it, the the stamp set and the dies can be found on page 104 of the new catalogue, which is right here. Okay, really, really pretty. Got some lovely ones, like I say, it coordinates with some dies. The papers are absolutely, again, they are really, really pretty. So, and it's, you've got some nice embellishments which go with this in part of this suite as well. So you can, just to let you know, if you are interested in the purchase of anything, you can purchase from us. So you, a links to our online shop can be found down below in the description. And inside the catalogue, they come as bundles. So if you see these bundle savings down the bottom down here, it means if you buy the stamp set and the dies together, you will save 10% off the whole price. So always look out for the bundle savings. So if something has got a die and it's brand new, then you can actually save money by purchasing them together. And that also works for punches as well. So sometimes there's a punch bundle. So you can buy the stamp set and the punch and you can save 10% off. So just keep an eye out for this one down here. And if it is a suite, you would always have this one here, which is one product number, and that will in include everything you see. So it would include the stamp set, the dies, papers, and usually embellishments, but it will tell you what it includes up here. And all you've got to do, instead of putting four product numbers in, you just put one product number in, and then that orders everything for you. So, and that's a combined price of everything with a 10% discount for the bundle as well. So bear that in mind when you're looking through this catalog. If you haven't got a copy of this catalogue yet and you would like one and you live in the UK, please message us and we will be happy to send one out to you in the post as well. Um, and then there will be a card which we make and a few little bit of paperwork telling you telling you about it and a catalogue survival kit we call it. So yes, yeah, so if you haven't got a catalogue yet, then please please message us Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com or private messages via our business page on Matusu Crafts on Facebook. And with your details, we quite happily pop one in the post to you as well. I just want to show you another stamp set on here, which now I can actually show you. We're very, very excited about this one here, which is the Expressions of Ink. This just looks absolutely amazing. The papers look gorgeous. We haven't got this yet, but looking forward to getting this. And we will definitely be buying it as a suite and getting everything in this as well. So watch the space for this one. We're really excited about this and it's just lovely. So we're not going to go through the whole catalog because you want to see what I'm going to make. Um, like I say, it's a bay window card. Um, I'm going to show you the finished project now. This here is what I intend to finish up with afterwards. There we go. So let's crack on and show you how you can make that yourself. Okay, for this project, I'm going to be working in inches because again, it's just easier. I work within centimeters and inches, but I'm going to work for this for, for this video. I'm going to be working in inches. Okay, so you will need two pieces. I've got now. I've got the misty moonlight cardstock here. You will need two pieces measuring five and three quarters of an inch by eight and a quarter inches, and you will need two of those. Okay. You will need some designer series paper. You will need two pieces measuring 
two and three quarters of an inch by five and a half inches. And again, you will need two of those. And you will need one piece measuring one inch by five and a half inches. You will need another piece measuring four and one eighth of an inch by five and a half. And another piece here measuring a three and one quarter by five and a half. So that's what you should end up with with your designer series paper once you've got all of those cut. So two pieces of cardstock, that one, that one, and then the back side of your card right there, like that. For your sentiment, you will need a piece here measuring two and a quarter by. Actually, I just need to double check the measurements on this one. So yeah, that's two and a quarter, so some a card layer, so two and a quarter by, by three and three quarters of an inch. So two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And your basic white layer measuring two by um, three and a half, okay? And that's gonna be for your sentiment right there. I will be using the stitched rectangle dies as well to create the, the cutouts. Um, if you haven't got the stitched rectangle dies, obviously you can probably use your um, trimmer if you wanted to, but the stitched rectangle dies give it a nice edge to it as well. So if you haven't got these, these will be a nice addition to your collection. So good, I've also gone ahead and I've gone and pre-die cut some bits and bobs, but I would explain that as and when I get to it in a second, okay? Or as and when it's needed for the card. Okay. okay, so take one of your card bases, which you cut at five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And we're going to take our trimmer again, and we're going to do some scoring. And what you want to do for this is you want to score at half an inch. Okay, on one side. And then we're going to rotate it round, and we're going to score at half an inch on the opposite side. Then I'm gonna then just slide it across and then I'm just gonna then score it at three and a half inches. And then turn it round and then score it three and a half inches. Okay, once you've got those score lines in here, you then want to take your designer series paper, which you which I've pre-cut. So if you've already gone ahead and done that as well, this is great. So we're gonna take the two pieces the two pieces which were measuring at two and three quarters by five and a half and we're going to stick them onto these two panels either side right here and we will then take the panel which was measuring one inch by five and a half and we're going to stick that in the middle so i'm just actually just doing it on the opposite sides on this so one side here one side and then the, the back side of that paper is right here Again, just be careful, look at your orientation on your flowers with how you want to do this to make sure that when you stick it down that your flowers are going to be going in the correct direction um, to how you want it to look. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick these down with some Tombow glue right now. Good, so that's our first part ready um, for the construction. So we just put those in, those panels, which we scored just a moment ago. I'm gonna do some die cutting as well. So part of the, out of the pen flowers dies, you've got this lovely border strip right here. So I'm gonna actually take that and I'm gonna cut two pieces. So on this one, so now you just need to decide what is going to be your left and your right now, because I've got my flowers are growing up this way. This is going to be my right hand side and this is my left side. As I'm opening up my card, it's going to be this way. So this is my right hand side. So I now want to now pop this in through my machine and just die cut this strip here. So I'm just going to just move myself, make myself a little bit of room and bring the cutting machine in. And I'm just going to cut the edge off again right now. Thank you. 
And there we have it. And you can see the lovely decorative edge it's given you. And it's obviously got the stitching in there as well. So it's a really, really nice edge. So I'm loving that one. Okay, so that's that. And we can also, I was thinking maybe on the left hand side, but it's going to have to go through two pieces of cardstock. I'm not sure. So I'm not actually going to do it that side, but if you wanted to, you, the another thing you could do is if you want to try it through two pieces of cardstock, you can do it just because sort of, you want to make sure you line up and you get a nice decorative edge. But I'm not going to do that for that one, but that's just an idea if you want to have a go at doing that. That might be something for you to try. So good, that's that part done. And then with the base cards, we are gonna take the two remaining pieces. So the one with the flowers on it, I'm gonna pop on this side here. And then one I'm gonna then turn it over and then I'm gonna stick that one right here. So I'm making sure on the left, on the right hand side, I'm getting an even border top, bottom and on the side. And then I'll then make sure I've got that nice even border here. And this part is going to get covered up once the, uh, that top part goes on there. So just, there's no there's no measurements to this. It's just all about eyeballing this, which is why if you, you need to make sure your um, mass and layers are correct. And then just look for even borders. Now a little tip on this one here, we'll see whether this works. I'm gonna, there's two ways we could do this. Don't put glue all the way up to the edge on the pit, which is going to be on the left hand side here. Just come short of it because you may, we may be able to use that as the tuck in mechanism or we can use the topper to hold it up. So I just thought come short of this edge right here so that it will, we can see whether it works. So I can show you the two things. Stick that down again, so I'm just looking for an even border side, side and side, and then I'm happy with that. This is why I like using wet glue. And then we'll stick this one down, covering up that side right there. stick this down like that looking for the same gap between these two pieces of paper like we do top and bottom as well and there we have it there's our two pieces ready to start decorating but first before we do that we are going to use the cutting machine again and we're going to cut out our bay windows right now so i'm going to take the stitched rectangle dies these ones right here and i'm going to take so as these are laying out it's i've got these two it's the i don't really know how to explain this but I'm going to be taking these two right here. So again, depending on what size you're using, will be depending on how big you want your bays to be. You could do circles if you wanted to, you could do squares. This part really is entirely up to you how you want to do it. So I'm going to bring in my large machine again, and we're going to run this through the cutting machine once more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a rectangle out from this side here and from this one right here. And then I'm going to cut, use this smaller one to cut a rectangle out of the center panel right here. All right, so I'm just going to do that right now.
and there we have it so we have now our windows cut in our cardstock okay save keep these parts because we can use these for a second card afterwards okay so good so now you've got that part done what we can go ahead and do is we can now fold and burnish this one so but we want to make sure we fold and burnish this one in this way Get a nice crease line on that one. And then, so we're doing a valley fold. Then we do a mountain fold. So it's a valley, two mountains. Like so. And then to finish this one off, we do this one as a valley fold. So valley, mountain, mountain, valley. And that there is how that bay window is then going to then look once it is on the card. We can go ahead and we can stick some glue on this one right here. And then we can now start getting that stuck onto the card. So glue on that spine. And then we're then to stick this. that one right there so again this is quite a large card this is an a5 card this will end up as being um but hopefully with me showing you how it's done you can then resize it if necessary if you want to actually go with a slightly smaller size or bigger size at least you know the construction of how it was made so then we're just gonna line it up here That's that. Okay. So now we just need to do the decoration. So as I said, we've got our sentiment. So I'm going to take the thanks sentiment here, which is this one here. And I'm gonna stamp in evening evergreen. And I'm gonna take this flower right here and I'm gonna stamp this one in memento. And what I want to do is I just want to stamp this so it is down in this bottom corner and parts of it are hanging off like that. All right, and then I'm gonna then take my evening evergreen and then I'm just gonna then stamp thanks at the top. Don't you just love that script? Yeah, it's great. All right, and then the stamp set has got these parts right here so these are the elements which you now use to color so you can color the flowers in with your blends if you want to or your coloring tools mediums um, watercolor pencils your stamping blends um your aqua painters whatever you want but if you want a nice easy way of doing this use these ones right here now they're not a perfect fit they're not it's not designed to be a perfect fit so don't worry that it doesn't actually meet it and fill the whole frame up it's actually meant to be like it's kind of like the artistic the drawing the watercolor type of look so i'm going to be using pale papaya and i'm just going to then do this line it up as best as possible um, but it isn't designed, it's designed to go over the lines, as you can see right there. So that's pale papaya. And then I will then use the larger flower. And I'm going to use fresh freesia.
So fresh freesia there. And then I would then use the soft succulents is gonna be the one which I'm gonna use for the flowers, for the petals. So you've got two petal sizes here, soft succulents. And I use this. to fill up these leaves right here. And then with the other one, I'm gonna use a smaller one here, and I'm gonna use that on this one right here. And then the second generation, I'm just gonna turn it upside down. It's not, it's, this isn't what it's designed for, but it works quite nicely. Just fills in that little bit. Just fills in that little bit right here. So that there is my topper, which works perfectly. And I can go ahead and I can go and stick this to this bit of cardstock here. So I'm just loving these new colors. I think they are, they're gorgeous. That's that one there. Good, pop that to one side. I want you to now take another piece of cardstock and we're gonna stamp up the other flower and I'm gonna stamp this in memento again. So on this one, I'm going to be using, I think I'll use polished pink for the large flower. On this one. It's a gorgeous color. That's that one there. And I will use again soft succulents whilst I've got them off for the petals. So this is one of those sets because again it isn't exactly going to line itself up. It's perfect. So you don't you you struggle to line up. This is one of those sets you can still get a great achieve something great and not have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about the line and everything up perfectly. You just do as good as you can. So that's those ones in the soft succulents right there. And then I think I will use Fresh Freesia again for the double flowers. So you've got these double flowers right here and here and I will go with pale papaya for these two right here that one and cool, I don't know if you can hear it but it's raining really heavy outside so might be able to hear the rain beating off the window. And I said we will use the pale papaya on that larger one, or the medium one, right there. And that is a lovely flower, easily colored and looks stunning. All right, so we will go ahead and die cut that one as well so they come with coordinating dies so a little bit of a tip for you before when you get these don't take them off straight away get a pen and draw around them then that way you will know exactly where they're meant to go back in when you take them off and then when you go where how did this all fit in that's how you do it okay 
So I'm gonna just go ahead and die cut this one. And that fits around there perfectly. I've already gone ahead and I've gone and pre-cut some of the the details, so these these bits right here, which work out like this. So I've already gone ahead and I've gone and cut some of these ready for the decoration. And that's what that one there looks like once that's cut out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna stick two of these, so the larger and the medium one. Just a little bit of glue on on there and then just stick, kind of just making a little bit of a, a bunch. And we do that on two of them. And those will be for the inside. So I've got two pieces which I've just stuck together right there. So I'm just gonna stick some dimensionals on the back of this one right here. So I've got myself my large dimensionals. And then we can then stick this to the inside of the card. And this is why these windows are quite nice because you can then actually get to see it. So I'm going to stick that in the center like that. The pieces here, which I haven't stuck together, I'm then going to then stick these on the inside. So I'm going to stick one over here and then these two little ones up the top over here. So I'm just going to grab my glue and pop a little bit of Tombow behind that. And then we can then stick that underneath like that there. And the same on these two top pieces. A little bit of glue. I'll stick that one there and this final tiny one We just stick down like that. I'm just going to take that one off again because I just need to pop a little bit of glue up here. And then stick and hold. So there we go. So that's the inside of that card right there. And then what I want to do is I want to take these two pieces and I kind of want to add these as kind of just some greenery hanging down. So I can then now stuck them together, a little bit of glue on that one. And we hang that one down there like that. And I'm going to do that over here and hang and have it growing up. like so and then i use some of the off cuts of some dsp which i had so there's some some of the tiny flowers so these little tiny flowers here are perfect you can cut some of these out pop some of this glue on the back here and then you can then stick that down to cover up some of those glue joins Good, and that's that one. So what you want to do, decide to do now is we will pop some dimensionals on that topper, which we made earlier on, so on this one right here. So you're going to need to obviously make a decision on whether or not you want to have it this way. So it's in the center and then you tuck under the design series paper and you lose all of that, that nice pattern. Or we take it up and then we put this up against the edge like that. So you've got a little bit of this designer series paper peeking through here, and we do this on dimensionals. But if you are gonna pop this on dimensionals, don't go up too close to this edge right here, because you need, again, like we do with the glue, we need just enough room for it to be able to tuck under. So we know this is this side, we can go right up to the edge. Like 
like so, like that. And then when we use the other ones, we would just make sure that we don't go up to the edge so that we can then tuck it underneath. So centralize it like so. Right there, that comes over and then easily goes underneath that. And there you have your bay window, fancy fold card. Okay, LC and then fold flat. And this is an A5 size, so you can get some A5 nice large envelopes, or if you've got an envelope punch board, um, you can obviously you can make your own ones as well. You could probably do some more on here and then you could then redesign and put some bits on there, but I didn't want to take too much away. I wanted to be able to look through this and look through the windows and see that beautiful flower on the inside. There we go, so that's that one. This was the original one which I did in same same foot format, but just used a different pattern paper. And I've used a pale papaya side of it, this side. And obviously we've got the fresh free, no, I think this is where um, Blushing Bride actually is this particular one, is the coordinating color there. And that size. There we have it, two cards, for, or one card for you, but two ways, two different designs, and that one right here. So if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to do a second card quickly using those off cuts. All right, so you remember you've got these ones right here, which we had, and this one. What we're going to do is we will just take ourselves some basic white and I've cut this to four by four and I'm just going to fold and burnish this. I want to just stick these down flat onto this card, onto my card base and I'm going to stick these on like so. So again I'm just going to keep it so I've got an even border, top, bottom, and sides, and stick that down, and it will then roughly give me much about the same, same border on the inside here. So we'll just let that set up and stick for a moment. I've got myself a bit of scrap bam, basic white again here, and I'm gonna do some stamping again. So I'm gonna stamp with the flower that I did for the first one, for the topper. So I'm gonna ink this up with Memento. Like that. There. And the same thing, we are gonna do the flowers here. So I'm gonna use the top parts. And I think, what color should we have these in? I reckon we should have this in a fresh freezer this time. Fresh freezer at the top there. And then I'm gonna have a pale papaya. Pale papaya, larger flower, which would be that one right there. And for the petals this time, I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. So I'm going to go with a darker one for this one. the small one which is there go in like that and then I'm gonna go third generation so I'm just gonna stamp it off again and then I use the third one just to color that inside of that there so that's that one what you're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna die cut this one so there is a die for this one as well so we can go ahead and we can just die cut this one out like that.
And then what we would do is just stick this onto some dimensionals. So I hope you're enjoying our Funfold Friday series. So again, please get your requests in. Um, let us know what you'd like to see. So the, the balcony card, not the balcony card, the bay window card was inspired by a lady who emailed us saying I'd like to know how to make this one. So I researched it and we've done it. So yeah, let us know. So I'm going to use the congratulations here for this particular sentiment. Because it works quite nicely. But again, you can use any sentiment you want as long as it fits in this little bit down here. We will take some evening evergreen, I think. Rather than black. And then just stamp that in the centre of this. And then this one can then just get stuck over the top of this. So a little bit of glue across the middle. And then just stick that over the top of those flowers in the centre. And there we have it. Card number two, really, really simple with your offcuts for that one. Excellent stuff. So we have got card number one, which is your bay window right there. And card number two, which is that one right there. So good. I hope you've enjoyed that. And like I say, please message us if you'd like to see any particular folds and I will do my best and see what I can do for you and bring you some bring you some ideas. Thank you very much for watching. Um, again, tune in next Friday, same time, same place for our next episode of Funfold Friday. And um, please share with us using the hashtag Funfold Friday. Let us know and, and hashtag at Matusu Crafts or hashtag Matusu Crafts or tag us at Matusu Crafts uh, if you're making these things. Join us over on our Crafty Stampers Facebook page as well and post your makes on there. And um, yeah. That'd be great. Thank you all for watching then, and I will see you again next week. Same time, same place. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. Bye.